The Owl House, created by Dana Terrace, who formerly worked on the fantastically uh, mischievous Gravity Falls, is quite an entertaining show. And I enjoy how it is building the relationship between Luce, the show's lead, and Amity, her former rival. I'm excited to see where they take this relationship. Amity's romantic feelings toward her former rival are quite clear. And the show has made something of a running gag about how oblivious Luce is to these affections. This is a common trope, but it is admittedly common for a reason. While we might not have been as oblivious as Luce, a lot of us have passed through that stage of our life wherein uh, someone clearly has a crush on us and we just don't recognize it, even though, in retrospect, looking back at that time of our life, it seems pretty obvious. And it is used realistically here in the Owl House, Luz is very smart, she's not an idiot, but she can be kind of artsy and ethereal at times. Drifting in her own little uh, individual world. I totally believe that Luz simply does not recognize Amity's crush on her, and that once Amity reveals the extent of her affections, Luz will reciprocate. In Season 1, we received indications that this relationship will happen, that it could happen, but in Season 2, I believe it will become a reality. Luz has already gone from despising Amity to being best friends with her. I doubt Luz has even thought about Amity in a romantic light up to this point, but... If that does happen, if Luce is forced to become aware of Amity's affections, I highly doubt she'll rebuff those affections. I highly doubt she'll say no. Here's why. Let's start with outside evidence. Dana Terrace recently hosted an AMA on Reddit, in which she responded to some questions about this relationship, and she said that they were certainly compatible sexuality-wise. If they do not end up starting a relationship, it won't be because of that. But, Ms. Tara said a lot more. She talked about how happy she was that the fans were connecting with the romance subplot, and that even though she would never write an entirely romance-focused show, she and her team are really excited about uh, developing that romantic thread as they're in the process of writing Season 2. Now, of course, that does not necessarily mean this pairing will happen, but it does mean that it has a very good chance of happening. There is strong evidence in the show itself that the pairing will happen. I don't know how long they can really build up this will-they-or-won't-they they tension until they have to resolve it. A slight tangent here, but a major reason why I appreciate the relationship between Rayla and Callum, or Raylum, in the Dragon Prince is that they don't unnecessarily draw this out. They don't go through, like, 60 episodes of will-they-or-won't-they. They jump right into the relationship. But what will the Owl House do with Lumity? Will they jump into this relationship in Season 2, or will they keep uh, leaving us guessing? I cannot quite be sure, but I do think there is more reason to believe that they will be together in Season 2 beyond just the comments made by Ms. Terrace. Who is Amity as a character? What defines her? Why won't she admit the extent of her feelings to Luce? Admittedly, part of this is just teenage awkwardness. When you're around that age, you're for the most part still growing into yourself. You're still forming your self-image, so the idea of being shot down romantically is one of the most horrifying things that can happen to you. But for Amity, it's a lot more than that. She's very much the Rayla slash Katra slash Zuko slash Pacifica Northwest from Gravity Falls of this story. In that she can be overly aggressive and uh, callous to the feelings of others because she was raised in an unhealthy home environment and she spends a lot of the show trying to combat 
the influences of that toxic home environment. In the Grom episode, the show makes it clear that Amity's greatest fear is rejection, which is why she does not reveal to Luce the other half of that invitation. But again, why is that her greatest fear? A lot of it has to do with how she was raised. Her parents tried to raise her to be perfect. She's not taught to open up. She's not taught that it's alright to make mistakes. Yes, it's reductive to uh, ascribe one's entire psychological condition to uh, one's parents, but it is equally ridiculous to claim that the environment one grows up in does not influence their psyches. Now, sometimes this can function in clear and obvious ways, such as Zuko believing in the good of the Fire Nation and its war on the rest of the world because he was raised to be the next imperialist leader of this empire. But sometimes it's more subtle. There's a lot of pressure on Amity. Her first major interaction with Luce is when Luce upstages her. Amity wants to be the best. She needs to be the best. In this way, she is again extremely similar to Pacifica Northwest from Gravity Falls. But as someone who felt that the character development for Pacifica on that show was a little sporadic, I'm excited to see what they do with Amity. I kind of want them to delve further into her psyche than they did with Pacifica on Gravity Falls. It goes deeper than Amity being pressured to be the best and not form relationships with those whom her parents don't consider to be some of the better people. Even if Luce were well connected and Amity was not conditioned to think of her as a nobody, admitting her romantic feelings for Luce would still be difficult. Amity was not raised in a comfortable and empathetic environment. She was raised in a world wherein everyone is trying to get the better of everyone else. In such an environment, it's hard to open up, it's hard to be vulnerable, it's hard to be honest about your feelings and your affections for someone. But nonetheless, Amity is probably going to have to be the one who makes the first move to send this relationship into romantic territory. Again, Luce is not stupid, she is extremely intelligent, but she does not have the most social intelligence. If dancing with Amity at a romantic prom-like event is not enough to convince Luce that Amity has romantic feelings for her, I'm not sure what will be able to convince her. It really is a lusciously romantic scene, and yet... Luce is still oblivious, so Amity is probably going to have to outright tell her, and that will be very dramatic if it ever does happen. But I think it will happen. It tracks with Amity's character development throughout this show so far. Amity is becoming increasingly confident and comfortable with herself. That air of pretentious cool, that incessant desire to trample over people and be the best, has deteriorated with time, and revealed itself to just be a facade. Beneath Amity's appearances, she's dorky, she's a little ridiculous, she's very nerdy, and it's quite endearing both to us as the audience and to Luce. These are aspects of her personality that Amity likely had to suppress because of the values she was raised in and her overall home environment, but Luce supports those parts of her, so they are rising more to the surface. She's not hiding them anymore, not nearly as much as she used to. She does not have to. This is the direction her character is going in. Considering this gradual increase in confidence, I believe she will do something in Season 2 that leaves no doubt, not even in Luce's dense mind, that Amity loves her. Of course, there is a distinct possibility that she would be rejected, and considering Amity's great fear of rejection, this would be absolutely devastating for her. But I don't think that would happen, considering how close they've been, and how Luce has grown to very deeply and intimately care about Amity. I, I think that Amity's affections will be reciprocated. 
It's a dark world out there, and it's probably only going to get darker as the show goes on, but it'll be a little less dark if they can stand together in that dark world. So thank you all for watching. If you liked what you saw today, don't forget to like and comment and subscribe. Donate to my Patreon if you can and you want to see more videos like this. Just a dollar or two a month would really help. It would really do a lot to keep this channel going. Anyway, check out The Owl House if you haven't. And if you have, uh, go rewatch it. It is really good. It's probably better than I expected. And it's really nice to have a show like this in such a dark year. Also, check out my Avatar, The Legend of Korra, and The Dragon Prince videos on this channel if you're interested in any of those shows. I've made quite a few videos about all of them. Anyway, tune in soon for my next analysis. It will be coming soon-ish. I assure you of that. Thank you all again. Adios, comrades.